Hi everyone, all right, so if you're wondering what NVIDIA Canvas is, this is an incredible piece of technology that uses artificial intelligence to basically analyze basic brush strokes and turn it into landscape imagery. So it's revolutionary, and this is gonna be an incredible tool for concept artists because it'll give them a really good base to work with. But even if you are not an artistic person and you've, and you've maybe wanted to play around and create your own you know, landscape scenes, you can now do that. You can see the, output, the input on the left-hand side and the output being generated immediately on the right hand side so if you check the link in the description it's going to take you over to the Nvidia canvas page now something I need to mention immediately and this is probably the biggest caveat about this is that you need a RTX card to use this program you can see under system requirements if you don't have a RTX card you will not be able to test out this technology unfortunately so I just wanted to mention that right now you can go over to this page read a little bit more about what Nvidia ca uh, canvas is and what it does but you just want to go ahead download the beta now install the program and let's get started all right so let's jump straight into it the user interface is very minimalistic and very easy to understand you're mainly going to be focusing a lot of your attention on the right hand side by materials because when I hover over these icons you can see it's basically giving me an indication of what it's going to be generating so I want to generate some mountains so I'm going to go ahead and select that and you can see we've got this layer system as well so we can separate the different materials by different layers so I'm going to be creating mountains on new layer one so by default yours should be on new layer one and I'm going to make sure this icon is selected which is my paintbrush icon and I'm just going to create some mountains over here so you can see this is the icon that allows you to control the size of your brush so I'm just going to draw out something like this let's see now remember this program is designed to generate imagery with the most basic brush strokes which makes it accessible to practically everyone which I think is really cool maybe I'll add a little bit more of an indication of some peaks over here but still keeping it quite simple alright so there we go we've got some mountains that have been generated so now I can go ahead add a new layer and I can add something different onto my image Okay, so on layer two, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to select this hill. So this program has definitely been trained on a lot of imagery of landscape of photography. So you can see I'm gonna create like this angled rolling hill and you can see immediately it starts generating all of this greenery, which is, which is actually mind blowing that it's capable of doing this. So we've got the mountains in the background and then all of this greenery over here in the foreground. Okay, so there we go, got a hill and I'm gonna add a new layer. Now let's go ahead and maybe add in a river. So there's a river that's flowing over here. Now obviously you've got creative freedom to do whatever you want. I'm just showing you how some of the tools work. Okay, so maybe there's a river over here. Let's see. Now I can use this eyedropper tool to also select some of my previous uh, materials that I use. So let's say I want some of the hilltop back. I go to my eyedropper tool, left click over here, and I can go back to my brush and start sketching some of the hilltop back into my scene. And you see exactly how that works. I can go back to my eyedropper tool. Let's say maybe I want some of that river to be visible again. And you can see just how quickly it starts generating this imagery it's truly mind-blowing so this icon over here allows you to click and drag to create a straight line so if you wanted something to be completely straight like that uh, then you can do exactly that so it's another very useful tool all right so we got these mountains and we've got this lake at the bottom now I can maybe create another layer maybe add some rocks in you can see I can just click and place rocks like this and <laughs> there we go it starts adding in rocks so really really cool stuff add some more rocks into our scene so maybe you are trying to create a scene uh, where a character's gone on a hike and they've encountered this part of the hike where they're just capturing this beautiful imagery of this fictional world that you've painted from the most basic brush strokes uh, which is really cool now I can go back to layer one again go back uh, to mountains and you can see because this, this is on a previous layer I can now paint the mountains behind the rocks 
that's why this layer system is so powerful and why you should definitely be separating different elements onto different layers. And you can see in like a matter of seconds you can start generating these really cool looking landscapes. So if you want to you can even go to this magnifying glass, go to 200% and use this move icon to look around on your canvas if you, you, know, you maybe maybe you want to zoom in and have you know just some better control over what you're actually looking at then that really comes in handy but I'm just gonna uh, snap back to fit and there we go and you can see this icon over here is your dual view so I can see what I'm painting over here and what my output looks like I always leave it on dual view I just think it makes more sense but you can choose to isolate the different views and I would recommend going ahead and actually saving your scene so this is the icon over here it saves it as a .can file, a can file. So you can save that to your desktop. And this this icon over here will actually save it as a PSD file or a PNG. But I'm not done yet. I thought I would just explain that quickly. This icon will also create a new project where you can use this to open a project that you previously painted. So the last two uh, tools that I forgot to mention, but it's pretty self-explanatory, you have an eraser. So if you go to one of your layers, maybe the mountain layer, I can start erasing part of the mountain. Now this tool is also very useful, which is the paint bucket tool. So let's go to the layer over here, which is layer 2, which is this greenery. I can completely replace this with something else. So I'll select the paint bucket. So instead of grass, let's say maybe I want a river. So I'll select river and just left click. And there we go, it replaced the grass with the river. So you can see how this happens instantaneously. It's fantastic and yeah, really awesome tools. All right, so go ahead and play around with these different materials. Definitely use the layer system. Remember, you can add another layer. Maybe you want to add in, let's see, uh, some sand. So I can start adding in some sand. Or I want to add another layer and I want to add in some snow. So I want to change the overall look of this landscape. So now there's some snow that's visible over here. I can bring in some more of these rocks. I know the snow and the rock material work together really nicely. Right, you can see I'm completely changing this image and all of this is done so f uh, so quickly. It always blows my mind uh, what technology is capable of. You can see there's a different image with some snow on it. All right, if you're trying to create a waterfall, if you actually drag your brush stroke in the direction as if you know water was flowing down, you can see the artificial intelligence has been trained to recognize that brush stroke pattern and then it tries to you know mimic the flow of water maybe from a waterfall or something so just play around with that have fun with this use the layer system and see what you can come up with uh, but they made this really easy to use and very accessible which I think is fantastic and then over here at the bottom we have these different styles so these will mimic different styles and different times of day. You can see this one basically has the sun setting. In this case, it's setting behind these mountains. That's why the foreground is quite dark like this. Uh, but you can see it under different lighting conditions, uh, which is really, really cool. So fantastic stuff that NVIDIA has developed over here. And I hope you've, you've actually been enjoying this. And once you're done, you basically just click on this icon and you can save this as PNG or, or PSD. So the file size or the image size is actually going to be quite small. Uh, but I am using another program called Topaz Gigapixel AI that upscales these images to a higher resolution, uh, which is the workaround. But maybe they'll provide uh, some native support to export this at a higher resolution. But for now, it is quite small. But still pretty cool that you can play around with something like this. So you can go ahead and save this out as a PSD or a PNG file. Okay, so just to show you in case you're curious and you want to see what the resolution of this image is, just go ahead and save this. So I saved this out as a PSD and a PNG. I'm going to go over to Photoshop and I opened up the PSD file. Right, so here's my final PNG. Now you can see the resolution is really small. And here's the PSD file. So if I go to image, image size, you can see this is only 512 by 512. So the output resolution is really small. And I'm hoping that somewhere in the pipeline, they'll allow you to export this at a higher resolution. So when you open the PSD, you can see it gives you all of these layers that you were painting on. And this actually reminds me of a clown pass that you'll see from uh, 3D renders, which is really cool. So maybe you can 
you know use this as a mask if you're maybe using the magic wand and you can maybe continue you know painting in here or use it somehow maybe this can come in handy for you but obviously the area is our final image and i just wanted to show you what the resolution is so it's 512 by 512 uh, which is really small so i have an alternative right now to show you how to actually upscale this there's two methods that you can use and i'm going to be showing you how to do that next okay so we have two methods this is the free method go to icons8.com they'll allow you to upload i think it's four images for free and you can upscale this by two times or four times and it also uses ai to upscale your image without losing quality and then the paid method but i think a fantastic program to have in your arsenal is uh, topaz gigapixel ai so once my program is open, I drag and drop my PNG. So this is the original PNG from NVIDIA Canvas. And you can see immediately it upscales this, but it also sharpens the image and brings out some more details, which I think is fantastic. And you can see this is upscaling it four times. So it's going to give me this resolution. But what's cool about this is I can upscale this 62 times, <laughs> which is insane. Uh, but yeah, this is a fantastic program that will upscale your image, sharpen it, and bring out some more details you can even suppress some of the noise or even remove some of the blur now you can see because it's using ai even the the end result that we get is not super crisp uh, because it is an artificial intelligence trying to fill in you know the missing gaps of what what it thinks you're trying to to paint so it's trying to guess that okay that is supposed to look like a mountain that's supposed to look like grass still does a great job this would still look great as a base to paint on top of if you were taking this over to photoshop so i still think this is pretty cool but yeah this is how you upscale so this next step is completely optional but this is topaz studio and uh, if you want to give your image like more of a painterly aesthetic so here's my gigapixel upscaled image i'll drag and drop it into topaz studio there we go so what i can basically do is i can go to filters stylistic and i can go to impression and you'll see if I select maybe one of these brush strokes and go to high and increase the brush size. It almost gives it, you know, like this painterly aesthetic as if someone was maybe using oil paint to paint the canvas that you generated using basic brush strokes. So it just gives it, you know, a completely different aesthetic. I can even, you know, control some of the opacity if I want to bring back some of the original image, but blend some of this painterly aesthetic on top of it. So just something I thought... I would add as an you know an optional extra i think this is a fantastic program if you want to create a painterly look with your end result all right so final thoughts what do i think absolutely a fantastic piece of technology technology has really come a long way and i think this is a great tool to help with speed and to generate ideas so these were some uh, images that i created so this one i showed you in the tutorial and uh, this was another one that was basically a very similar scene but with more vibrant colors and i even tried to do one you know with a more of a snowy environment so a great way to maybe generate a base for your paintings and then you can enhance that a lot further with photoshop or you know like i said maybe you just want to play around and you want to create these landscape images you can do that i think anyone can do this even a kid is capable of doing this right now since the brush strokes are super simple but obviously somebody with an artistic eye that understands composition can create some really compelling looking imagery so yeah remember this is just a tool so go ahead use it let me know what you think down in the description below i would love to know what you guys think about nvidia canvas and as always i truly appreciate the support on this channel so much stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials and goodbye